with Shane Fitzgerald, winning rider of the two opening races here in, in Old Castle. Uh, Loch Nishkal Lady won the four year old Mare's Maiden, and American Legacy won the four year old Geldon's Maiden. Well done, Shane. A good start to the day to get a nice double. Thanks, Davey. Yeah, yeah, Jez is brilliant. I was coming up here, hopeful, hopeful to ride one winner and just get the 50 out of the way, but to have a double there was was absolutely deadly. So it was. Last time we spoke, we spoke on the on the golf course. How's the golf going for you these days? Uh, not great. No, <laughs> that's good. At least you're riding winners. Yeah. yeah so you mentioned that 50. It's, uh, you were one off getting the 50. So now you're on 51. Didn't take long. Uh, you fancied the second horse a lot uh, of Mick Off's uh, American le uh, Legacy. Yeah. Look, he's he's uh, he's, uh, he's a very good horse. Um, he jumps absolutely exceptional. He was a little bit green in front, which understandable for a four-year-old first time out. But he done it very well and won with plenty in hand. He's a son of Scirocco. And uh, what about the mare in the first race for Mick Off as well? Did, did you fancy her coming today? Um, yeah, we knew we knew she'd have a very good each way chance. We thought she'd take a lot of bait and um, she should have been banged there. And, you know, she couldn't have done it any easier. Again, absolutely top-class performance jumping. A uh, bit of a rider error, I'd say, over the last there, all right? You were lucky at the last. She was lucky that she was very genuine and pulled away again going to the line. Good stuff. Many more for the rest of the day, Shane? Um, just a five-year-old girl now and that's it then. Good. Listen, uh, loving the uh, face mask you have. It's yeah, lovely and flowery. Nice and bright. I couldn't find anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, well done, Shane, and best of luck later on. Thanks, David. Cheers. Rob James, winning rider of the third race, the five-year-old's mare's maiden. Uh, well done, Rob. Fable, first time up for Donica Doyle, um, a daughter of Coastal Pass. She was very impressive. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Yeah, she, she, she was very impressive. Uh, look, what she's a lovely big mare, uh, first run. Uh, she jumped very well through, and she's got a lovely lead the whole way, and she picked up coming up again the hill and jumped the last well and she, she went clear going to the lane you fancied her beforehand anyway so she's yeah we thought, she'd, we thought she'd run very well so yeah it worked out well uh one more ride left today one more in the last year a horse uh, for uh, ross crawford uh, hopefully has a bit of a chance he, he placed a couple times last year so uh no luck yesterday but it's good to get off the mark now with a winner and look forward to it hopefully a good season yeah hopefully look great to get off the mark uh, the first weekend uh, had a couple of seconds there so not going too bad good listen well done rob thanks Dave. Richie Deegan, winning rider of the five-year-old uh, Geldon's Maiden on Rockstar Ronnie for Aidan Fitzgerald. Uh, well done, Richie. He was very impressive. Thanks, yeah. He he done it well. No, we fancied him there just before racing and stopped. Uh, he was going to go to Durrow, I think. And he's... No, he done the job. We hoped he would. He did say to me... You mentioned to me yesterday um, that, that you you had a few rides today, but that you, you'd be very disappointed if he didn't win. And sure, yeah. he's still up to what you thought. Yeah, no, we fancied him. I actually haven't rode him much this year. Connor Blake rides him every day and... He was fairly sweet on him, so he was right, thank God. Good to get the season started with a winner in the first weekend. Yeah, it's grand. I had a couple of spins yesterday and got a few falls. So you did, you had nice. a tough day yesterday. Yeah, so it's nice to get off the mark today. Um, you're spreading yourself out a bit more this season now. You're with James Doyle, you're in Scobies as well, and you're in Dennis Murphy's one more in a week as well. Yeah, it's grand. No, Scobie said to me this year, he said, go another couple of places if you want and just come into me a few days. So. Going into the boys and doing a bit of school and this this grand is great. Good. Well done. Well done today. Thanks, Dad. Rider of the novice riders race, Jay Gibney. Who won on his own horse, uh Dento to Sobo. I'm pronouncing that right, I am. Yeah. <laughs> um He's a winner, not only your first winner to ride, but he's in your name, you're the handler as well, so yeah. so it's good to win on, bo on both. Yeah, it was great. Um, got him last year. Uh, I worked for Colin McBratney, and we got him off him, and he was he trained him last year. And uh, just finding him out, see what he's like, and uh, changed the tactics a couple of times, and something worked. We got a winner last year. Yeah. And then just with lockdown, we took him home ourselves, and we wanted something to do. I'd, in the afternoons when I finish work, so I took the handler's license out, letting them work away ourselves, and um, just made the decision to go back riding myself as well, and it's paid off. <laughs> good, fair play to you. Yeah, he was good from the front too, wasn't he? Jumped away well. and Yeah, grand. Uh, you can do anything on him. Like, um, 
he knows more than, than we do. Oh, definitely. He a bit keen last year, um, but he seems to be just with a bit of age, he's settling a bit better. He was nice there, like, um, yeah, so I just let him find his way to the front and mm. he doesn't, and he takes a while to get one by him. He does. And uh, do you plan on continuing riding on now? Well, yeah, that'll be it. That's the plan. Um, I have another filly at home. Uh, she's just another bit of fun just to see. She'll be a maiden just coming off the track. Um, so there's two there for a bit of fun. There's Keep you going. My, yeah, me and my father ride out together. So um, it's just, it's a bit of fun for both of us. And obviously in Colin in the morning. So doing schooling and working there, um, you learn a lot like. It's yeah, good. it's good to ride the first winner, but uh, to, to train your first yeah. winner as well, it's, I'm sure it's very special. Yeah, it's great now. He's, he's done some work for us, that lad, so. That's good. Well, no doubt he'll win again for you this season. Listen, oh. um, well done, Jay. Uh, very, very best of luck with him for the rest of the year. Thanks, David. Johnny Barry winning rider of the last race here in Old Castle, the six year old um, Gelvin's Maiden on Diego's way. Well done, Johnny. Yeah, that's, uh, th thanks very much, David. Yeah, it was gr great to uh, get a winner the, the first weekend, anyway. So, and um, he won easy, uh, King Collins. He, he used uh, to ride as well. Yeah, he used to ride. He works for Garnellis in the mornings and he does a few pre trainers and trains a few in his own yard. and. Uh, so he's a, a very shrewd operator. He well, I'll have him ready anyway. Yeah, yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, and um, I say you'll be hearing a lot more of him in the next co uh, next coming years. Uh, Diego's way. He was very impressive in the end. He won easy for you. Yeah, he he won very well. Yeah, um, he jumped brilliant, travelled great, and uh, he won easy. So he was going to win last year. Um, he was fell second last uh, with Mark Foley, but he's I say he's a big horse. He's on the feeling out his, his frame now so hopefully he, they should have a, a bit of fun with him anyway. Definitely, uh, like you said Johnny, good to get off the mark on the opening weekends. Uh, where does a week take you? Where, where are you riding out every morning? Um, I'd, I'm busy enough for ride, uh, ride for, uh, for John Allen, uh, Vinnie Halley, Carl Thornton and uh, I'm meet, be meeting Les in the core and that so um, they're well spread out yeah then. yeah yeah keep busy so it's um, it's, it's competitive and it's, it's hard to uh, but sure, we'll uh, keep, uh, keep tipping away and, and, and hopefully stay injury free for the season. That's brilliant. Listen, well done, Johnny. Okay, number no, thanks, David.